in the news this week. An advert featuring the Lord's Prayer goes viral after being banned from cinemas. No to named persons campaigners criticise the Scottish Government for burying concerns about the scheme. And a Christian couple who have both turned 100 speak out about their 76-year marriage. Hello and welcome to this week's News Bulletin from the Christian Institute. An advert showing people saying the Lord's Prayer has been viewed online one million times after being banned from appearing in most UK cinemas. The advert includes school children, a farmer and a policeman speaking lines from the prayer and ends with the message, prayer is for everyone. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The Church of England had originally been told a message would be acceptable, but permission was later refused. David Cameron, Boris Johnson, Stephen Fry and the Equality and Human Rights Commission have all spoken out against the ban on the advert. Digital Cinema Media, which took the decision, says it has a policy of not accepting political or religious advertising and that some adverts, unintentionally or otherwise, could cause offence. Campaigners have spoken out after the Scottish Government mysteriously scrapped an expert committee on the name person legislation. At the penultimate meeting of the Getting It Right for Every Child programme board, Police Scotland had raised concerns that the named person scheme may take focus away from high-risk children. Ministers then suddenly decided to wind up the committee without any consultation with the Scottish Parliament. Those involved had expected the committee to continue until the scheme is rolled out nationally next year. Speaking in the Scottish Parliament, Children's Minister Aileen Campbell tried to defend the government's approach in response to concerns from Liz Smith, MSP. I know that our approach is right. We've focused on the legislation. We're focusing now on implementation. And uh, I'm, I'm content that we are doing all we can in an open and transparent manner. Spokesman for the No to Name Persons campaign, Simon Calvert, said that if the government scrapped the committee because the police criticised the legislation, the minister should resign, adding, If child protection concerns expressed by senior police officers are being swept under the rug, what hope do we have that the government will listen to anyone? A 20-year-old man has made a shocking video showing the effects of taking drugs and urged others not to get sucked in. Geordie Herdis lives in Australia and wrote on Facebook that he is now facing a permanent stutter and twitch due to nerve or brain damage. He wants his video to be shared as widely as possible in order to raise awareness. It's a waiting game at the moment to see whether I'll have a permanent jerking like what I do now, as you can see, and with my... Stutter. I'm not not sure whether it will will, will get, get, go or get get get, get the better any t t t time soon. But just pl please, guys, don't 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 get s s s s s sucked in. It it all seems like f fun and games, and you know a cheap twenty five dollar pill, but it's not 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 what 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 worth it. And finally, a Christian couple who have been married for 76 years have spoken of the importance of their faith during their marriage. Alan and Margaret Little from Nashville, Tennessee, first met at church when they were just seven years old. They got married in 1939 and now, having both recently celebrated their 100th birthdays, can look back on a lifetime of marriage and God's rich blessings. Asked about the key to their successful marriage, Alan told Good Morning America, I married the right woman. Margaret added, in one word, love. We did not fuss. We also respected each other. Margaret attributes her long life to lots of good care and the fact that God has richly blessed her. The couple's faith in Christ has helped them through many hardships, including the deaths of all their children. Alan was a leader for many years at their church, which has remained a central part of their lives and relationship together. Well, that's all for this week. For regular updates and information on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.